Are you a promise keeper or promise breaker? A teaching by Dr. Tony Mathias. Are you a promise keeper or a promise breaker? How would you feel if someone broke his promise to you? How would the other feel if you did the same? How would God feel if you broke your promise to him? Even the world does not respect people who break promises. Jeremiah 1.12 tells us that God always keeps his word. So we too should because as he is, so are we in this world. 1 John 4 verse 17 God hears every promise we make and he will hold us accountable for our promises. Luke 12 verse 3 and Matthew 12 verse 36 Many Christians do not walk with honesty and integrity. Integrity is doing the right thing even when nobody is watching. For example, if someone walked out of a store with an article and forgot to pay for it, he should go back and pay for it if he is a person of integrity. God honors the man who keeps his word. Psalms 12 verses 2, 3 and 4. Here are some forms of lying God hates. You say you will come to church on time and reach late or don't show up. You say I'll meet you at the station at a certain time and you don't show up. You tell your neighbor you stop by to get some sugar but the reason was to see the visitors in her home. You got the sugar and saw the visitors too. Telling a person a partial truth is a lie. I will call you back tomorrow. You don't call back at the appointed time or call much later with excuses. You lied. God hates it. A broken promise is a sin judged by the Lord. Numbers 30 verses 1 and 2 Leviticus 27 verse 9 Ecclesiastes 5 verse 4 Matthew 5 verse 33 through 37 It amounts to a broken trust and relationship. How can we ever be trusted if we don't keep our word? God expects us to keep our word to the best of our ability. If God doesn't keep his word, he is no good. If we don't keep our word, we are no good. You are as good or as bad as your word. You are identified by your words. When people of the world look at you as a Christian, do they find the difference? Broken promises hurt and amount to lying. Repent. Jesus always kept his word. God still keeps his word and is faithful to keep every promise he makes in the Bible. That is why he is reliable and we can trust him. We are called to be like him. Lying causes hurt, disappointment and disharmony in the body of Christ. It makes people lose respect, creates conflicts and destroys relationships. 
If you keep your word, people will respect you and follow your lead. Matthew 5 verse 37 Tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. If you love your word, if you value your word, you will be careful to keep it. When circumstances are out of control, apologize. Make the facts known in advance. Two main reasons we lie are fear of consequences and pride. Man's approval. What others think of us? Are Christians guilty of lying? Very much. What happens when people make it a habit to lie? Lake of fire. Revelation 21 verse 8. Well, is there hope? Yes. Repent. Ask God to help you keep your word. Be determined to keep your word. When circumstances are out of control, apologize. Make facts known in advance. God bless you.